Hey guys, it's me and Glam Coach. Glam. Oh, Glammy. Yo, dude, what are we going to be talking about today? Yeah, Glammy noticed I have <clears throat> kind of a strange color on my lips today. Mwah. This is some really green lipstick, but let me tell you what, it is so light. I mean, it, it looks really pigmented, but it's so light that you forget it's even on. Like, when my coworker comes in tomorrow, today was her day off, I gotta have her look the brand name, because I can't, I know it's on there, but it's written in black, and I can't really see it. Probably can see it anyways, because y'all know I'm blind. But, um, I wouldn't mind having some other shades in this. <clears throat> I've had this on all day. This is hours. Hours. I've had this on hours. Literally hours. And the only time, let me see, I ate lunch and I had to, you know, redo it after I ate lunch. It's now like almost seven o'clock at night. Mm hmm. Hours. Like, this would be, it would be nice if it's, if it's this pigmented and it comes in like some, you know, mauve or pink or some neutrals, whatever. This, this is really, that's, that's worth looking up. That's, that's a nice, uh, lipstick. The Wet n Wild Eyeliner, however, let's take a good close look. Mm-hmm. Yeah, didn't really last. Um, I'm going to put it on right now for effect because it's nighttime, so... It's not going to have to last very long. Woo, woo, woo. But, um, I forget what I paid for this. I did purchase this because I keep seeing, you know, reviews on Wet n Wild products, and, oh, this one's really good. I can't believe it's Wet n Wild. Well, ooh, I do still have a highlighter that I want to try out, but, you know, I'm just having so much fun with that Rodeo Drive from Ofra right now. It'll probably be forever before I use any other highlighters. <laughs> At any rate, if you want a felt tip liner that lasts all day, and now, I don't know, maybe if you, I, you know, I tight line and waterline, and it's not, it doesn't last for that so yeah there goes that so let us put on a bit of primer this would be primer from um oh gosh I can't remember the name of it profusion that's it um I've got, what have I got? I've got this primer and two palettes and some other thing that I can't remember what it is offhand. I'm not at home, so I can't exactly just run and look either. But, um,. I think it might be an eyeliner. Um, so far, I'll tell you, I am really, really happy with the Profusion line. Um, 
mean, I don't know of anything that absolutely every product is, you know, great or works for everybody. But this would be the Pure Cosmetics Get a Grip. I like to use that on my lid because, you know, I'm going to use some shimmers. I only need something a little grippy. Little grippage. Uh, this actually came in a tube, but the tube, you know, got kind of low and uh, started drying out on me. So I put it in this little jar. I save, I'll tell you, if I get a sample of anything, I always save the little jars because you just never know. When that thing is going to come in handy. I actually should be doing that with a brush, but yeah, okay. That green is... Ooh. Every time I see it, I'm like... I, I forget that I have it on, and then I look in the mirror, or, you know, on the monitor, I'm like... Look at that green lipstick. That is insane. Insane, I tell you. Alright, come on. I think I need to wash that off. It's been acting up on me lately. Okay, so today we are going to try the Arabesque. Arabesque? A R A B E S Q U E. Arabesque palette from Bad Habit was sent to me by Marie. Thank you so much, girl. This is like so awesome. Ms. Let me see. Mrs. Glam. Ah, oh, darn. Okay, I remember the Mrs. Glam part. I, I need to write this stuff down and just tattoo it on my forehead. Anyways, this is a dupe for the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. Um, you know, they're not all the same. I think there were some, uh, a few more, like, pink shades in the other palette. But it's, you know, it's pretty. And I actually, I have been into it once. Um, it does stain a little bit. That's what this is from. Um, <clears throat> of course, I put some primer on it so you can't see it so much anymore. But yeah, it stained a little bit. So we're going to go in with this. You know, staining's no big deal because it'll... It only takes a day or two, you know, for it to go away. And, um, you know, that's what we have concealer for, right? All right, so just going above the lid and up to the brow with this. Now this does have some fallout too. I I did have some issues with that, so you know you just have to make sure that you remember to tap it off and don't. You know, don't pick up a ton of it. It's actually, it's, um, it's a pretty silky palette considering it's, you know, a, a dupe. I don't know what it costs. Um, maybe Mrs. Glam will bless us with that information. But I'm sure it doesn't cost near as much as the, uh, ABH palettes, which I'll tell you... I haven't tried them. I just, I'm not even really tempted. Um, hmm, okay, let us go with. All right, I think we're going to start with this one here. Um, Kind of an angle brush. The uh, 
Actually, that's not the brush I want. Maybe it is. Yeah, I guess it is. Um, I don't know. They just, they don't feel, like, I, I expect a high dollar brand to have a certain kind of a silkiness to it. Um, you know, or buttery or soft and not feel at all powdery. You know, maybe one or two of the shades, but you know, for the most part, they should be pretty, they should be pretty creamy feeling, you know, um, and moist and not, you know, powdery. And, uh, I just, I don't know. They just don't feel that. They just don't feel nice to me. They swatch all right, you know, and I suppose while I'm in the store, I could like, you know, try some on. And I, I did that with the Urban Decay before I bought it. But, um, I don't know. I just, I'm just not that interested in it. It just doesn't feel, and you know, it probably performs just fine for the more <clears throat> normal type people. But for myself, I have really dry skin. My lids are dry. My, you know, dry. It's the whole thing. There's the, the T-zone is dry. Everything dry. Okay. Um. I think we're going to go with this one down here in the corner. And we're just going to blend that right into the one that we just put up. So, you know, I mean, I can use a powder all right, but it's got to be a nice powder if it's, you know, if it's a really dry powder, then it's not going to perform well on my eye because my eye is already, the skin is dry, you know, so, uh, yeah. Hmm. Let's see that on the other side too. So yeah, I've never been really tempted by those palettes. Um, you know, it's not like I can go out and buy two or three palettes at one time. <clears throat> Usually, if I buy a palette, I've been saving up my money for a while, and I'm real picky about what I'm going to spend it on. So. You know, it's got to, it's got to be nice, you know, um, <clears throat> and I really, I'm trying real hard to, uh, you know, I'm like selling a few things here and there and getting the money in my PayPal account. And as soon as I have enough money in that PayPal account, um, I really would like to try and acquire the... Blood Sugar by Jeffree Star. It's just, I don't know, it just looks like a really nice palette to me. All right, so, hmm. I think I'm going to use, all right, enough with that brush. I'm done with. Um, yeah, I don't need that brush either. You know, these brushes that we got from Boxycharm, this foursome with the detail brushes, I just love these. They really are some hard working little brushes now. Okay, um, I'm going to take this gold right here. And, I don't know, you think I should put something on the, 
you know, with the green, I don't think I need to really darken it up too much. I'm going to use that gold and I'm going to go with the outer corner and kind of the middle of the lid. Is there a way to do this? And not have everything in between. You guys and me trying to do this. I didn't know. I'm not going to go all the way to the inside because I'm going to put something else in there. I think I'm going to like pack this on a little bit. And I'll tell you, in my personal opinion, which, you know, that and $2 will get you a ride on the city bus but um i actually think that this bad habit palette feels nicer like silkier more buttery than the anastasia whatever Beverly Hills palette so seriously I would have probably purchased this palette before I would have purchased the soft glam anyways I think I'm going to go ahead and build that up a little bit on this other eye as well um You know, there's a lot of controversy about the dupe palettes. And, you know, here's how I feel about it is, especially in this case, and this is the first dupe palette that I've ever had. But, um, all right. So we just used that one. Hmm. I'm going to use this one for the inner corner. Um, I'm actually, I'm using the same brush. I just wiped off the excess uh, product and going ahead and dipping into that. You know, since... I have this awesome green lipstick. I'm kind of wishing that I would have brought something with a little more pizzazz to it. But you know what? That's all right. <laughs> Sometimes it'd be like that. This is a pretty thing. Um, we have another new subscriber, Rhonda. And I think we have another new subscriber, um, Guy. And we might have another one. The count is showing up like there's another person, but I haven't had a notification come through yet to confirm it, so... Not sure what's going on there, but like, yeah, we're yay, finally 150. Hello, oh, and the giveaway, yeah, the giveaway is over. Um, that was let me see, it was over Tuesday night, so basically. What I'm going to do, since I was here, you know, by myself all day today, and y'all know I'm blind. Um, tomorrow, when Brenda's here, uh, when we go on our break, we'll sit down and go through all the names and write them all down. 
and uh, you know, probably draw a name out of a hat kind of a deal. Um, or what I thought about doing was just counting them because there's two different there's two different videos now. So, all right, that's kind of pretty. Um, so I thought about like just counting them, starting with the first video and counting, you know, how many there are. It's not really a real good highlighter color in here. I'm going to go with this one, which on the camera it looks a lot lighter than it does in real life. So, let me see. I think I've got like, I've already used pretty much all the shades in here. I still haven't used these two on the end, you know, black. Yeah, that's, I'll use that, but not for video, because that's going to be like kind of a glam out sort of a thing, you know, or a smoke out, and I'm, I'm not that crazy about it. But, um, yeah, we'll see. Or, you know, maybe I'll just, like, do a little, well, here. I just know I'm going to end up going over. I hate it when that happens, but, you know. Alright, I'm going to use that black. We're just going to go right on this outside corner. And, um, yeah, that's, a. Uh, like, I didn't, wow. I got a little tiny brush here, and I didn't even try to pick up much. And, yeah, that's a serious black. Wow. Wow, that, like, takes over. Um, seriously, takes over. I'm going to have to, might not have been a great idea this brush see what I can do to Ooh, a lot of fallout from that not on this side just on this side wow yeah I messed that up didn't I okay and I'm gonna use that very first one that I went in the crease with and blend that into the black because, yeah, I just, I just about ruined the whole thing there, didn't I? because I just had to use that goofy sometimes you need to just leave stuff alone it was better before I started messing with it wow yeah this could take some days of blending the nice thing is it does really blend well but in doing all of that I got some major fallout but that's all right. I'll take the, some concealer to that and clean it up. Um, another thing that you can do is like a lot of girls put tape under there. I just I can't see myself doing that. Um, I, I do like it though. I just I need to learn to be careful of the. the fallout and you know it's not like it's all over the the palette itself so yeah um oh. I'm gonna take a little bit of this gold topper and see how this works out 
on this green. Ooh, I can't wait till I can get better equipment because this is not showing up on the phone. Not near as nice as it is in real life. But, yeah, I ruined it with the black. I should have just left that alone. Yeah, okay. Well, sometimes things work out and sometimes they don't. And this is one of those times that it didn't. But, uh, ooh, hello to our new subscribers. Let me see, what else? Um, all right, Bad Habit, the lipstick, the eyeliner, that's about it. All right, that's about it for tonight, guys. Um, yeah, nice tutorial, huh? I just, like, messed it all up with that black. Just, you know, don't do the black. <laughs> Um, I do like this, though. I think this is, you know, Glam Goat approved. <laughs> oh, Glammy! Yo! Glam! <laughs> no, you can't do that again. So, you know, you just have to be a little careful of the fallout, but I'll tell you, that can be true of any, any palette so you know um subscribe to the channel hey if you're not already a subscriber hit that button hit the notifications button six days a week if you don't want to see us six days a week or you don't you know you can't stand that notification constantly coming up hit you know the option button and hit occasional and some people just don't even want notifications. That's fine to you. As long as you are a subscriber, when you go to your homepage, every subscription that you have will come up under the Your Subscriptions icon, which I believe is the one right in the center. So, I'll be there. And until the next time, I hope you wake up dancing every single day. Bye-bye.